Okay guys, Jay brought a performance again. Uh, just another quick one here. You get a lot of questions on this. and So we sell, this is a C6 transmission I'm working on. So we sell a number 9 bearing kit and we also sell this reverse planet gear. It's got a rolling, roll of bearing on each side. Um, kind of unique, I put the bearing on both sides, that way you don't have to buy a hub or anything else. So if you want to put a roll of bearings in these two positions, it's real easy, you just need one part. And I make this stock height, so just to maybe get a set of selective thrust washers to go along with it to fine tune your end play, but for the most part this just fits. And so we get a lot of questions with either this or the number 9 kit, and they say, well man, I can't get this together, the height's wrong. Uh, well, okay, first of all, if you ever doubt the height of something, take your stock one and take the one you got from us or whoever and compare the heights uh, before you call somebody and say the height's different. Well, know it's different and know how much. Most of the time it's not. It's just an assembly issue, which I'm going to show you here. Real common question, real common problem. Uh, so one thing with the number 9 kit, they say, well, I can't get the snap ring in. Well, this is a snap ring in here, and if you can get that snap ring in, there's no height issue with the number 9 kit. What a lot of times people are referring to when they say that to me is the snap ring that goes on this outer edge here, which I'm going to put in a minute. And this is why I love email. I don't do a lot of phone anymore, not only because we I just don't have time, I don't have help, but the email works out really great because that way we're on the same page. You can shoot me a picture like this and then say, well, you got the snap ring in there. You're talking about the other snap ring. Okay, now I can help. So anyways, um, and this piece here, this is a three-pinion planet. Typically the one we sell on the website is a four-pinion and really the only reason I do that is because people just think they need extra pinions. And most of the time you don't. A lot of guys are pushing six pinion planets on you on this unit. And I got to be honest with you. I almost never see a problem with the three pinion rear planet in this transmission. If you have something that tows very heavy trailers, maybe a four pinion is in order. Or... Some of these monster trucks and things, yeah, you know, they may need a four pinion. Very rarely do they need a six pinion. Six pinion I have used in some tractor pulls, things like that. But don't don't get caught up in this. This transmission I'm building here, it's it's a big engine, it's a drag car, it's a street car also, but primarily drag race. And it's making a lot of power, and this three pinion is gonna be just fine. And the reason I'm using this is not to be cheap, it's because what do drag racers want? They want to reduce drag, which is our bearings here, and they want to save weight. So this is certainly a lot lighter than a six pinion steel planet that you don't need. You're just adding weight to the reciprocating assembly. Uh, and you don't even need a four pinion. These are going to be fine. If you're burning these up, you got an oiling system issue or uh, something else is going on more than likely. And anyway, so enough of that. Uh, and so this video is primarily on installing the number nine kit in this. Yeah, the number nine kit's already in, uh, but I want you to just see if you can get this snap ring in here, you definitely don't have an issue with that height of that race or anything like a lot of people think. So that's all good there. So this is easy. So we're just going to take this and I'm going to show you where people get confused. And I'm going to put this in here, and then it drops into those slots. Now, here's the problem. People call and they say, okay, here's, here's a snap ring I can't get in. So your planet's too tall, your number nine kit's too tall, or something of that nature. Well, all you got to do, and a lot of people don't know this first timers, if you grab this drum assembly it's going to lift up, and I'm going to have a hard time doing this one-handed. So let's see. Let's try this here. I'm going to put that like that. I know I need an assistant. This is ridiculous. So I'm just going to pull that up. That will just pull up, and now you just put your snap ring in. Piece of cake. 
and I'll just push it back down. So that just kind of floats in there. And you can see that assembled. I apologize, my camera is terrible and my filming and all that, but I do the best I can. So anyways, that's that. So just remember, lift up on this assembly to get this snap ring in if you need to. Most likely you will. A lot of people don't know that. They're doing this their first time and they're a little nervous about, well, I've never put these kind of things in that are modified. And yeah, I know, so many parts you get nowadays, they're just not, they're not the right height or people sell you these pieces and you need 10 other things to go with it for it to work. Uh, but just know, anything you buy from us like this, if you want to buy just this planet, you can put just this planet in a stock transmission, and you're not going to have a height issue. It's it's made so you can just put that piece in. Uh, same thing with the number 9 kit. If you want to just put that in, you just put it in. You don't have to buy 10 other things. Uh, we also sell a hub for the front planet that has a bearing as well. Uh, same thing with that. So... Keep that in mind, I really try to make this stuff simple for you and not force you to buy a bunch of stuff you don't need. So anyways, uh, that's just an, another quick little tip for you. And if you like these, uh, please thumbs it up. Let me know that you want to see more of these. And if you also want, put in the comments that you'd like to see a video on this or that. Any, any suggestions on something you'd like to see, I'll try to do it for you. Uh, but I'll, I'm going to keep doing more of these as I think of these things as I'm putting stuff together and have a few minutes I'll keep doing these little videos for you and hopefully it helps and answers a lot of questions that people that are doing this for the first time just get confused on uh, okay thanks for watching